welcome back to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. And I am Toad. We, this is sister number three, Amanda, who we affectionately refer to as Toad. And um, we talked her into being a part of our podcast. So we are going to show you a couple of projects that we, all three of us are working on. And I have a hair in my face. Pay no attention to the one at the end. She's not <laughs> she a professional. <laughs> Pay no attention to the one in the corner. I'm my bra strap. <laughs> Okay, the lace on this is catching me right at the nape of the neck, and it's like oh, there's I something back like there. I kind of like the lace better, though. She's got polka dots. Yeah, I'm, you have I'm spider telling webs. You, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm spider webs. You and I both have spider webs because we're webby all over our hats. We got our uh, hats yesterday when we were at Michael's, and of course, we couldn't leave them. We had to wear them right. home. So Helen and I wore them through the supermarket. <laughs> there were some some interesting some looks. interesting <laughs> looks from some very staid old men. But uh, yes, it, I love my hat. I think it looks very dashing. Yes. Um, standard beginning, we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, which you can find on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest as Toad Hollow and J. And on uh, Facebook, we have a new group that is called Crafting with the Toads. It is facebook.com slash the crafty toads. Um, come join us. It is a group where you can show us pictures of what you're working on. And we are getting so inspired by everybody. It's getting dangerous. Very yeah. Um, very enabling yes but we are the we make um project bags for crafters and dye yarn and that you can all find at our website which is toadhollownj.com or etsy just search toadhollownj and we will show up yeah i think that is my spiel and she is our master tester yes she tests all the product bag yes hold on i have more bags but bag <laughs> and when you open them up yarn <laughs> yarn yes yarn good yarn so we thought we'd update our make-alongs because the three of us are all participating and it was something that the three of us could all show and share right and then which you can't see the table is covered with paper products because we're about to go into an afternoon of crafting yeah so, and so we want to do that and we'll take pictures of that and show that as we go along um, we'll put that at the end I did want to mention, we got new glasses. Mine are blue. I don't have the red glasses anymore. Oh, Helen's got the yeah, red I have ones. the red glasses. But look, I have blue glasses now. They're very cool. I have already lost them once. I hate mine because they don't stay on my head. I use my glasses as my headband and they won't oh, stay. God bless yeah. you. Um, yeah, mine no, never was... go up. They're up. They're there all the time. I was yelling across the house this morning, I can't find my glasses. I've already <laughs> lost them. It's one day in and I've lost them. I'm buying them lanyards. But I found them. <laughs> It's okay. We refuse cool. to accept that we're the old librarians that have to wear our glasses on my Hey, they have funky lanyards, though. They do. Okay. I have a friend who makes them. Amazon. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also, I figure we can make Brenda some Brenda Elaine these. Jewelry. Let me just throw that out there. Yes, do. What, what is, is it? it? Brenda Elaine Jewelry. Okay. On Amazon. On Amazon. Yes. Um, but we can do it with beads and stuff. We yeah, have no, really hers, are, hers beads. are like beads and silver <laughs> and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, Everybody's going to calm down because you've already had your soup bone, and that is it. We have two dogs, for those of you who are new like to make themselves known. Tabitha will more than likely not show today because she's afraid of anything Anybody's and new. everything that is new. and Including the fact that I look exactly like them and sound exactly sound. like them. She exactly. runs from me. I but don't get it. She comes out into the hallway and then she's like, she'll look at Amanda and say, can she see me? Oh, damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> she can see me. I have to go. That really was very funny last night. Though. We were watching the movie and she comes along by and she just looks at me and the pupils just went, wow. <laughs> And the tail goes, <laughs> and she goes skittering out of the room. And so not sure. Okay. We'll right. talk about Spike next. Yes. Um, I do have something for us to do, though, because Amy gave us pumpkin pie M&Ms, which we have not tried yet. So we're going to try them on the podcast. So everybody gets to take a pumpkin pie M&M. And try them. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Well, we haven't had them, so we don't know. I'm doing orange because orange is my. Favorite. I did the jalapeno ones; they were good, and did the you? English toffee one is good. I am not trying jalapeno ones. I tried it's the just hazelnut a ones burn. because it's my favorite commercial in the world. But yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. They're not oh. bad. Actually, it's not what I expected. Mm. I like it. I kind of like that. You want another one? No. No? But I am pumpkin spice in limited quantities. Mm. 
like one slice pie. of pumpkin pie, which I do like when I make it, but that's actually really good. Mm. I wasn't sure how the chocolate was going to go with the pumpkin pie, but it's, it must be white chocolate. Is it white okay. chocolate? It mm -hmm. is. So it adds like a sweet okay. layer to the, to the spice of the pumpkin. Yeah. No, you thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. I'm on to our nephews. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amy. We will keep those out on the table so mm. that we can share them while we're crafting. Okay. Oh, I actually really like that. Mm. That's going to be dangerous. Okay. What should we do? Start with the stitching? I was going to say start with the stitching because I have mine now. Okay. This is for our Christmas Village Stitch Along. So if you are doing it, please join in with and tag everything with TH Christmas Village. And it's like what have it, we're each three doing different ones. Yes. yes. And do you know it? I don't think I have posted anything. I'm I put one up the other day. I'm like, okay, since I'm posting this thing, I think I probably should put a picture up. I know I posted I, a little bit, but not, I mean, I not a huge amount. Done, and I've done it on, um, yeah, I've come a lot further since doing it. And I've only done it on Facebook. I haven't done it on Instagram or Ravelry. Have you used a hashtag? No, I don't think I, I did. I don't think we have anything open on Ravelry. No, we don't. You don't. No, because because uh, Ravelry doesn't really do stitching, right? No, it's, it's more, more knitting. knitting. That's why we did the the thing Facebook. on oh, okay. Facebook, the page on Facebook. All right, who wants to go first? Go ahead. Okay, I am doing the hometown holidays. I am starting with the bookstore. Sorry, we're kind of far back to fit all three of us in, so. And that is as far as I've gotten. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's I good. have made a couple of switches purely accidentally because I couldn't read the pattern and I put the color in that I thought it should be and it wasn't. Um, so the first thing I switched out was the bench is supposed to be brown. Did we mention we got new glasses? Yeah. Um, the bench right, is supposed idea. to be brown and I thought it was red. So I put it red. I actually love it. I, I was going to say, I kind of yeah. like it red. I really like it. So when would you make the cardinal brown? Yes. So then I made the cardinal brown because okay. the cardinal was supposed well, to be red. Well, so now he's a robin. No, it's Mrs. Cardinal. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, I she, have the she's... red one up on the top of the tree. And here I'm going to stand up so you stand can see. Stand up so you can see. So I have the red one up at the top of the tree. And then I have Mrs. Cardinal down here. And she's brown. And since cardinals make for life and when our cardinals come, there's always a Mr. and a Mrs. Cardinal. I thought that's really kind of fitting. Yeah, I like that. that. My Mr. Have... Cardinal comes and sits on my windowsill of my bathroom and yells at me. Because it's dead. And he's well, does he have to yell at me while I'm in the bathroom? That's he kind of disturbing. Well, it's kind of, I, I sometimes say, okay. Enough. Go Price, ahead. Dad. Price. But, uh, you know, he wants you to feed him. <laughs> they they Okay, you him? know yeah. I live on a farm and yeah. I've got cornfields. Yes, well, they like black sunflower Some seeds. It's crack. You should get a bag of black sunflower okay, seeds from listen. Walmart and... Um, I'm afraid you what know might what come like into my yard. <laughs> yes. Hi, I am done <laughs> in yeah. a female body. Just My saying. father used to get so cranky when he was hungry. It was, it was particularly a, when my mother took him Christmas shopping. That was always good. It was the saying, it's like, you know when he gets, how he gets when he's hungry. <laughs> so at the end, done. or I could tell when dad's blood sugar was up. I, oh my God, at the end, you really yeah. could. Um, anyway, so, and I changed a couple of colors in the house, in the bookstore, because... I miscounted and um, I did the wrong color there, but because it was fine. You thought it was a good. Color. <coughs> it looks fine. You can't tell. Nobody's gonna know. No, no, and it makes Besides, it more yours as opposed to the same as everybody it's else. It's tiny. Yeah. You can't see it. It is tiny. It is tiny. But it's gonna be perfect for the blocks. You know the wooden right. blocks that you get from Michaels. Yeah. I'm planning to get the wooden blocks that you get from Michaels and paint them and then put these on have the front. Little villages in and amongst all our bottle brush trees that we got the other last mm -hmm. year and the year before. That we're actually gonna put out this year. I was gonna did you put them out last year? No. We had a Christmas tree last year. Well that was a that yeah. was a step in the right direction. Hey, I, I had one last year too. That was a plus. Yeah. I mean we actually got a Christmas tree. And I got tree it up first time before like, like your birthday. I think we put it up around my birthday. Right around your birthday. And then left it up till February as is the family right. tradition. <laughs> Not really. We Actually, got it. we took it down fairly quickly. We because, did. You know, it was a live tree. My mother freaks out because it's a live tree and she's worried about fire here. But her well, the house. Tree, okay, so tree. let's do a little back history though on this house. This house has had three fires, one of which we were in the house for. So I kind of understand her yes, but her karma about I, here. I understand here, but then you walk past her tree in February goes, in her house. <laughs> And it's like, you just hear, it sounds like it's raining because of all the pine needles. <laughs> the house kind of 
I mean, shapes as you walk. When we were taking the ornaments off this year, you just like snap the branch, take the ornament, mm -hmm. snap the branch. Take the... Anyway, my project is in my bag from Amy that she gave us when we were at New Jersey Sheep and Wool. So thank you so much, Amy. It looks beautiful. And I don't think you sell them, Amy, because we would give you a plug if you did. I yes. was going to say, if you did, uh, it might be... Yeah. I'm sitting with my normal purveyor, so maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't know what you say there. All right, I am doing the Farmhouse Christmas. And I started with the last one, which is number nine, and it's Baba Black Sheep, because I love the black sheep. What number is yours, Mary? Are you number one? I don't know because there, I think there are 16 or 17 of oh, them now. Oh, okay. Oh, yours um, are a lot. And I didn't get all of them together. I only got three or the four. The ones that you wanted. Um, to start with. So I will, I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to do all of them. Definitely not for this Christmas. But um, hopefully over the next couple of years. Mine came all together. So I got to choose right. how it's going. And I am stitching it on 18 count Ada. Picture this plus, And the color is jazz. That is how far. Oh my God. I love your sheep. So do yeah, I. I do love the sheep. I love the sheep. And I have, a, I have my cardinal. He doesn't have a face yet because I haven't put the black in yet. But so. I think that um, you know how you were talking about some of them. You're going to take out the people. Oh yeah. I think you might want to put in sheep. Yeah. A what? A sheep. Sheep. Yeah. yeah. So some of my farmhouses come with people, and we don't like people. I like sheep better than I like people. So. And mine is in my bag for me. I need a little book. book. It's my needle book, so I can keep track of my needles because we said that I don't treat my needles properly. So then oh. I have different pages. You put your needle in. Nice, and, and you different have different pages. pages. Just different sizes. And nice thick felt. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. So. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, she included it in my bag. Yeah. That is mine. All right, so I am doing Jack Frost Tree Farm, and um, I'm a sheep, and I started with number one. So that's the first well, you one. Need to, because you're putting it all on one. Yeah, I'm going to put it all on one sheet. Um, so this is how far I have come, and I still want to marry best needle minders, I think, from Amy. But that's how far I've come. You can see Jack Frost boots and hat. And I have to do white around these windows, white around the door. I'm finishing. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. It's fun to do. It is. We should mention that I think they're all, are they all? Little are they house, all Little House? Little House Needleworks? I'm yeah, pretty they sure are. they yeah. are. So all the patterns are Little House Needleworks, which you can tell because they all have the cardinals. Because she yeah. has the cardinal in. Um, and mine is seven parts. And I don't, do you remember which eight I'm using? You told me to get it. I think you're on 16. I think I'm on 16. You're not on 18, so it's good. Yeah, it's 16, yeah, it's 16 it's count. 14. And it's the off-white one. So. Very cool. So I'm going to do the first one at the top, and then the other six are squares. So I'll do three across and three across. And this is like think And then frame it. Cross stitch, right? Yeah, I think that's no. what you're supposed to no, do. No, I've done lots of... I did the one of Long Beach Island that is the outline of the island, and then like oh, list okay. all the different places... And then I have one that's Where's that? a lighthouse. It's home in a crate. I haven't framed them. You've been crafting behind our back. You know, remember when Meese and I found, I don't know if you remember, Meese and I found this place down in Tuckerton that was um, cross stitch. Oh, really? And that's when she got the book with the rabbit. Remember right. she was doing the rabbit? So I got the lighthouse from down there. And it's um, old Barney and then it has the rocks on the bottom and then a saying on the side. I can't remember what the saying is. And I've got that one finished. It's still in its, um, I had the scrolling frame for right, it. Okay. So it's still in that. Huh. I'll have to pull finished, them out and yeah. frame them. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll send them to Paige and uh, have her frame them. I mean, them. the Long Beach Island one, I didn't know what I was doing. So I think I used um, like an entire, <laughs> it was really thick thread. <laughs> I think I went to Walmart or Meese gave it to me for my birthday one year or something. And I just used too much of the thread. So oh, it's okay. really thick stitches, okay. but... You can tell. And then when I did, you the should. Lighthouse. We should get yeah. that done. We should get that finished and hang it down here, like in your room. In down my room here. or something. Yeah. Now for my cross stitch, I am using their Woodstock bag, which I love the colors, and I love my peace sign. So here you go. That goes with your thing. And the fun little. Um, that's zipper a zipper pull. The zipper pull, but it's a dream catcher. Dream catcher. Love it. 
All right, project number two. Hello, sir. Project number two are our out and about shawls. Yeah, you are guys are so much further along than I am. By Jennifer Weissman. And here's the pattern. This I'm not sure we actually did a hashtag for. Did we? I don't, I don't think I don't you think did. So, cause I don't think so, because I, I think it's actually just the three of us doing it, so. Oh, nobody else on Ravelry? I thought this was going to be a big one, like the um, Tri-Wizard. We have a, a thread on Ravelry, but I'm not sure anybody's, nobody's really, there hasn't been I know there hasn't been most posting on it. Yeah, I know, I know that people, people bought the yarn, but I don't right. know whether anybody started. All right, so there, uh, we're doing this start, we started it September 1st. It's the Out and About Shawl. Well, they started Weissman. September 1st, I didn't. And it is a very long rectangular shawl. Um, do you want a color picture? I think I can. Oh, sorry. Um, and no, that's okay. That's all right. So we are, um, I have just joined mine and Did finished really? my garter thing. So I am about to start the quilting section. The what? The quilt just, stitch it's section. A quilt stitch. Oh. I okay. actually have I, done the first couple of rows of it. I don't read the pattern first. I'm just saying. I was honest. I was saying to Helen, I'm not sure that I'm doing this right because I don't know what these two look lines. Look butterfly. I know. Oh, look at that. These two lines are for, and then I read a little bit further and I'm picking them up. So this is mine so far. I'm doing mine in Hanging the Stars. It's DK. It's beautiful. And these are my two triangles, complete with clothes. Um, the two triangles that you joined together they're the center of the shawl. And then you are knitting out from it. So when I am done this side, I will pick up this side and go down that way. Are you gonna do them concurrently? You were talking about it. Or... I know, and I, I don't think I am. I okay. think I'm just going to do it one at a time because I don't know that I'm going to have enough brain power to keep track of which Where side I'm on yeah. and which one gets As, which. Do you, you don't do so. stitch, or uh, yeah, stitch counters. You don't stitch do counter? Um, I do sometimes, but for the most part, no. I have one Hi, on my phone true. that I use. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I can't focus with that. So mine I am doing out of Spectre. And I have just finished my two sections. So now I have to put them together. And last night I just didn't have the mental capacity to do that. I love how this is knitting up in this color. Yeah, I love the gray. The gray is really, really it, great. It's I mean, really beautiful. The stitch definition on this is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So these are my two sections. I will join them and uh, start moving out. Look, they're the same size, which is always a plus. Always good. <laughs> you know, when it's you get to that nice. point and you, you lay them next to each other, it's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Didn't miss any rows. Right. So. Or, you know, go a little extra because you were falling asleep right. and just thought you were on page number four instead of number seven. Kind of like me with the uh, mitten where she completely forgot the thumb. Right. Yeah, she's having so much fun, she just kept going. <laughs> you should see the sleeves on her sweater. I was going to say her sweater. Oh, are they for an elephant? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the giraffe legs. So I am doing mine in my favorite, Mr. Harrisford. Um, I'm a little limping behind them. So this is, this is how far I've gotten. My cute little piece. Oh, it's pretty. It's beautiful, yeah. 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 It, 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 the stitches are showing up really well. So the yeah. stitches show up really well in this one because there's not a whole lot of variegation. And of course I've got my progress keeper that was from their sock thing a couple of years ago. Which one was it? That was Halloween ones. Halloween yeah. ones, yeah. So that's how far I am. I do use a stitch counter or a line row counter, row counter. That's what yeah. I want. I have it on my phone that I can do. Um, I just know oh, my phone's there. I'm like, I, I get the name of the app, but no. So like for me, phone. this works because then I look down and see, and I can. My phone's not always. And you, when you get to the yeah, end of you the road, you Apple know. Watch. You could put it on your Apple Watch and then just click paper. I could, but this is just yeah. If you want to go all you know, 19th century, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going all 19th okay. century. I love these things. I'm going. So do my cats and my dad. Back. They still. Like. <laughs>
they steal them and hide them under the couch, and then I move the couch to clean. That's why I stopped using them because Tig used to Tig was my cat, and uh, she used to. Oh, she them. always took. Uh, them. The other thing they love is you know the um, the needle ends that look like orange pine cones or orange uh, safety cones. Safety cones. My cat Tosca loves them. She sinks into my knitting bag. Cable needles. Takes also, them off. Tabitha likes uh, double pointed needles and cable needles. She takes them and puts them in her poop bowl. Not kidding. And she'll drop them at our feet sometimes because she wants us to throw them and she chases them and brings them back. My cat plays fetch. Oh, so do ours, but uh, they do it with the hair ties. I don't think I have it anymore. I think oh. it's gone. It's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Mm. Anyway, all right. No worries. Yep. So those are the stitch uh, make-alongs that we are doing. Come join us, Facebook group, uh, Ravelry, and, you know, another one instagram yeah oh, shameless plug for their bags Look how cute this fabric is i don't know if they still have it that i'm showing it but i we love don't. this bag this is last year's model <laughs> so last year <laughs> all right um we have a giveaway to do and then do you want to talk about mary sure and oh, yeah. her thing and i'm gonna go get the giveaway okay I'll um, be right back. so we met uh mary at the new jersey sheep and wool festival she had a booth Oh, okay. <laughs> right outside uh, our the, our barn, um, and she runs the Stay Strong Tote Foundation, which um, is in New Jersey, and it's for supporting moms and their critically ill, hospitalized children. So she puts together totes for the moms, because um, you know just comfort things for the moms, and she has started to add little bears for the kids. Um, well, one of the things that she has in the bag are shawls. She has people oh, knit shawls yeah. for the moms. Um, and um, then she also has the little bear as well. Right. So um, what she is looking for is she puts superhero capes on the bears. I love this. And so she is asking people if they would like to help out um, to use their little odds and ends of yarn and knit up capes and we have the pattern so if anybody's interested we can email out the pattern actually could we put it on Ravelry? I, I would think so yeah it, probably she wouldn't no yeah, I don't think so because then it tells you where to send it right yeah so what I'll do is we'll open up a thread on our Ravelry page and I'll type up all the information so that it's a very simple pattern I mean and it should take absolutely no time and where to send them. Um, so Mary, I have to tell you that I love this idea because I am a nurse practitioner in our pediatric office and my godson was a heart kid, so his mom would have loved one of these when he was little. Yeah. He's now so. 17 and doing great, 16, 16. And um, so I know um, right now she's just in uh, New Jersey. She's trying to get into CHOP right now um, to send, be able to send the totes there. Oh, wow. I may have a connection for you, Mary. Okay. Mary, we will put you in contact with Amanda. Yep. So, um, and DuPont. I can probably get you to both. Okay. Hershey. Sure. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> we told her about you. Yeah. And um, that, uh, th that you might be able to help out. Because it's such a great idea. So it is. I think everybody should take their little odds and ends and knit a cape or two and send them off to Mary. Yeah. Also, the, the bears you, aren't big, so it's not like, I mean, it's probably only like that big yeah. that you're knitting. I mean, I mean five do grams that at most. You can do it in the night. Yeah. So we were talking about doing a giveaway for shawls. That if you wanted to knit a shawl and send it to us, we would package them up and send them to her. And then we'll put all the names of everybody who donates a shawl, and we'll come up with a really yeah. good giveaway. Does she to have do. a pattern for the shawl, or no? It's just it any shawl. shawl. One oh, skein okay. shawl, two skein shawl. If you had one that you loved knitting but you never wear and you don't know what to do with, send it to us. Just DM us. We'll send you our address. Yeah. But we'd love to put together a really great package for her of a whole bunch of shawls to send her, so that because uh, she's got a bunch of people who knit, um, but. You know, she wants to put together as many bags as she possibly can, and 
she can't afford to buy the yarn for all the shawls, so people donate the shawls. So if yeah. you have okay. anything, or if you have a knit group that's looking for a project to do, this would be a great thing to do. If you don't want to send it to us, if you want to send it directly to her, we can give you her information, but if you want to enter our giveaway, we will come up with a really good giveaway, and we'll pick um, somebody. Mm -hmm. Even I if you have a group means... of friends that do knit nights, like if everybody knit a yeah. shawl or a cape for the bears yeah. one night, that would be great too. And by no means does any of this have to be out of indie dye jar. No. There is very nice <coughs> acrylic also, blends um, out there that you can use or acrylic yarn from Michaels and anything will be appreciated. Right. And so also, um, like Baroque, so they're not going to care that as sort of long thing. as it keeps them warm. I right. think that's all they're really. The Baroque yarns are, are yeah. reasonably priced and everything. So, yeah, if you have them made out of indie yarn or if you want to knit through your stash and do that, that's great too. It's completely yeah, up to you. Because the indie yarn requires a lot of care when like laying out and stuff. Yeah. The acrylic yarn you can throw in the washing machine, which when you've got a critically ill kid, you're going to have stains. So something to keep in mind. Okay. okay. So that's a really good thing. You Expert. know, I'd, I would not have thought about that. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. So um, DM us if you're interested and uh, we will definitely... Um, let you know our address of yeah. where to send it. And uh, we'll, again, I'll put this, this will all be in a Ravelry thread before we put the video up. Okay. Okay. All right, so then now we have a giveaway to do now. Um, Amanda, we've gotten her totally into the cross stitch thing. She bought a storage box that has the little things in it, that has the bobbins, bobbins in it. And she bought floss that is not the floss that she uses. I'm not sure this is cross-stitching floss. This may be more embroidery floss or friendship bracelet, uh, bracelet floss type of thing. I think it um, came up as cross-stitch, but I'm not sure. I can't remember, but it's not. It's called embroidery floss jumbo pack. There are 105 skeins. You've got a Lots package of needles, of, needles yeah. of all different sizes, a needle threader, all different colors. Yeah, I mean, lots there's and lots tons of colors. and tons of stuff. So even if you weren't going to use it in your cross stitch and you wanted to use it in um, just any something kind of crafting, else, any kind yeah. of crafting. Although I would think that these would be fine in cross stitch as well. It's just I know that the threads are thinner than DMC, so you might so you might need to use, use two, three. You have to two. use three. That's all. Right. But, but there's um, some good colors in here, and they'd be got, great if you've got kids who are doing friendship bracelets. Yeah, they've yeah. got duplicates of everything, so mm -hmm. that thirty-five colors. They've got all sorts of things. All right, so we need a question. What's our question going to be? And what kind of question are we looking for? Something quick that they can answer. Um, all right, so this, what's your favorite craft that you love to do? It could be knitting, it could be paperwork, it could be cross-stitching, cross it could be sewing, bracelets. it could be quilting, it could be whatever you want. It could be baking, because baking's a craft too. Anything you like, leave a comment at the bottom and just say, my favorite craft is, and we'll enter you into the project, the giveaway. Yeah, and this is going to come from YouTube, so leave a comment on YouTube. Right. Oh, okay. Because, uh, usually we've done some of them in Ravelry, this one's going to be YouTube. Okay. So it's open to everybody. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's... And I do want to say, from our 100th episode, we have a couple people who have not gotten in touch with us yet uh, as far as winning. We're going to leave it open until the next podcast that we do, and then we're picking new names. So, um... You get in touch, people. Those were good prizes. Yeah. So, um... I know our yarn and bag is still up for grabs and a couple of the cross-stitch. Yeah, I'm going to steal those. <laughs> yeah, she comes in, she's like, what's going on? What are you making with Orca's Island? I'm like, that's the giveaway. What? What? Giving that away? So, I um, think I have Work as Island, to be honest with you, but... If you did not watch know, episode 102, um... I think it's... Isn't that in the island pack? Sorry. Anyway, go ahead. Um, if you did not watch the... I think it was episode 102 where we yes. picked the winners. Just go back and watch episode 102 because you may have won. And you yes. didn't get in touch with us and you don't want to miss out. So, all right. All right, Good. I think okay. we're done. All right. All right, everybody, we are going to clear away the camera and get to uh, making some books because I have plans. Do you know what kind of book you're going to make? I don't. Do you know what kind uh, of book I you're think just make? lots of paper uh, and pictures. I think maybe. I'm going to start with the envelopes that we saw yeah. and work from there. 
Helen found a, a video how to turn your junk mail envelopes into pockets. I am going to take that idea and I'm going to make a, a recipe book. Yeah, that's one of my oh, That's a good idea, yeah. And I, I'm, I like the crafting journal, but I also want to do the Halloween journal with the fun <sighs> Halloween paper you got. Yes. We got Alice in Wonderland Halloween paper. Oh my word, it's so awesome. We have to stop because right. we have limited time and Can I, I need to paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, have a wonderful week, everybody. Yes. Go forth and knit and stitch. Create and craft and make Go something Go create, beautiful. people! Yes. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get her back on sometime again soon. Yes. Maybe. All right. Bye. Bye everyone. Hello, and welcome to Toad TV. Hello. Hello. I'm Mary Beth. <laughs> I'm Toad. And Helen. And we are not putting up a regular video this week, so we thought we'll show you our weekend because we're having a sister's weekend and we are going to show you what we're doing. So first up, we're running errands. We are... Okay, I have to find a reverse thing. How about I don't know where. Turn? Okay. Anyway. Okay, here we go. We are going to the mart. Sorry about that to pick up glasses. So that's first and pick up other things. So we are off to do our errands. We will check in with our glasses so you can see how awesome they are. Number two, this is not gonna be fast and this is not gonna be pretty.